Hey guys, Jay Snow with an add-on for you guys. This one's called Dominoes. So I used some retail already, and I probably made it a video a long time ago on how to use Dominoes. But this one's for WoW Classic. So for WoW Classic, there really isn't that many changes, but it's so that's good. Because I do like the way it is, basically. So how to download this add-on. You're going to go download the Twitch app. If you don't have the Twitch app, just download it. Just Google Twitch app, because this is where most people get their World of Warcraft mods. It used to be Curse, but Curse changed the Twitch app. And that you can still go to, I think, Curse Forge. To get the mods manually but otherwise you just go to the twitch app once you're in the twitch app go to your game folder or here right here where it says mods click mods look for world of warcraft click it and then make sure you connect the drive so you need to make sure this section has the drive that you need so if you want to add a game or scan for installed games feel free to do that and then click down and make sure you're on world of warcraft classic not retail because it's two separate items click on world of warcraft classic wherever you installed it then go to get more add-ons under get more add-ons go to search type in dominoes or dom whichever one's which and then domino should be the right here it should say 8.2 classic so this one is the one that works so let's go into how to use this add-on so it's really simple uh, what do you call it you can left click to go into configuration mode so right here you can bind your keys you can mess around with your bars and make profiles and all that stuff I don't mess with any of this so we're just gonna skip that but if in case you want to you can so right I do the first thing I do is this is a brand new character pretty much so all the what do you call it, action bars kind of disappeared but they're right here so we're gonna right click it and then it's gonna show you a whole bunch of stuff so on these bars you can do a whole bunch of things but let's do what's needed first so first things first is we have all the bars active now you don't want all the bars active because that means if you click accidentally over here and it might actually click something else so let's for example if you put a piece of cheese on the top of bar number 10 if you don't hide this bar and cheese is over here that means you'll magically click cheese out of nowhere so what you do is you slip shift right click and that hides the bar so that means you won't ever click the bar by accident so we're gonna hide the first five ten and then we're just gonna you can take the bars and drag them if you want so I'm just gonna drag that one to move it out the way but these are all inactive for pet I like to put on the side and then my cast bar I put on the bottom and in my class bar I kind of just put to the side we'll just put it over here for now and it's vehicle cool and roll so what else can you do with the bars so for example I can right click the bars so let's actually use number 10 so I can right click the bars and then I can change the size so I can make it super small or I can make it as big as it possibly can I can change how many columns there are I used to do this for my when I had a razor naga mouse I would actually make it the size of the razor naga buttons spacing scale of occupancy you know all that good stuff so you can mess around with that. It's also advanced things, but pretty much I just change the size of the columns depending on where I want my uh, what do you call it items at or a task at. So now that that's all done, let's go into key binding. So we're gonna go into key binding. Oh yeah, you can also move your bags. I almost forgot to mention that you can move your bags and menu if you want. You can put it right on top and move that too. So that's pretty cool. Uh, what do you call it? Same thing. You can change everything. Let's hit exit and let's bind some keys. So to bind some keys, you have to left click or right click and then go to bind keys. Click bind keys. Make sure this is checked off because otherwise it's going to screw up all your bindings. So click character specific key binding. And then over here, you'll have your key binds. So for example, this one's just using one to zero. So I want to make this, what do you call it? Uh, F1 R or whatever. So we're going to get rid of them by clicking escape. So click escape to get rid of all these key bindings. And then I'm going to make this, usually I do EQ. So we're going to bind this to E. So I'm going to hit E. I'm going to hit Q on this bar. I'm going to click R. No, F. I do F. And then R. So we got to clear that key. And click R. And then click OK, which means you now should be binded. So for example, I'm hitting the R button. You should see it blinking, but there's no item, so I can't actually use it. And that's how you bind the keys. And then for the cast bar, just make sure it's moved to wherever you want. Cast bar even accounts for lag. So if you see, look very closely, there's a blue bar that just shows how much lag you have. It's really hard to see if you don't have any lag going on. So that's pretty good. But otherwise, that's all there is to the add-on. So I thank you guys for watching. Feel free to subscribe to the YouTube channel for random WoW videos. And you can also follow my Twitch for other different games that I like to play off and on. So thanks for watching, and I'll see you guys next time.